There's been a lot of talk about identity lately, but how far does it go? And is it possible to be wrong? We went to the University of Washington to find out. Are you aware of the debate happening in Washington State around um, the ability to access bathrooms, locker rooms, spas based on gender identity and gender expression? I, I think people should be able to have access to the facility. I think uh, bathrooms could and potentially should be gender neutral because there doesn't need to be a classification for differences. I think people definitely should have the ability to go into whichever locker room they want. Uh, I feel like at least public universities should do their best to accommodate for those who do not have a specific uh, gender identity. You know, whether you identify as male or female and whether your sex at birth is matching to that, you should be able to utilize the resources. So if I told you that I was a woman, what would your response be? Good for you. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. I'll be like, what? <laughs> really? I don't have a problem with it. I'd ask you how you came to that conclusion. If I told you that I was Chinese, what would your response be? I mean, I might be a little surprised, but I would say, good for you. Like, yeah, be who you are. <laughs> I would maybe think you had some Chinese ancestor. I would ask you how you similarly came to that conclusion and why you came to that conclusion. Um, I would have a lot of questions just because on the outside, I would assume that you're a white man. If I told you that I was seven years old, what would your response be? Um, I wouldn't believe that immediately. Uh, <laughs> I probably wouldn't believe it, but I mean, I it wouldn't really bother me that much to go out of my way and tell you no, you're wrong. I'd just be like, oh, okay, he wants to say he's seven years old. If you feel seven at heart, then, <laughs> then so be it, yeah, good for you. <laughs> so if I wanted to enroll in a first grade class, do you think I should be allowed to? Uh, probably not, I guess. I mean, unless you haven't completed first grade up to this point and for some reason need to do that now. If that's where you feel like mentally you should be, then I feel like there are communities that would accept you for that. I would say so long as you're not hindering society and you're not causing harm to other people, I feel like that should be an okay thing. If I told you I'm six feet, five inches, what would you say? That I would question. Why? <laughs> because you're not. <laughs> no, I don't think you're 6'5". If you truly believed you're 6'5", I don't think it's harmful. I think it's fine if you believe that. It doesn't matter to me if you think you're taller than you are. <laughs> so you'd be willing to tell me I'm wrong? I wouldn't tell you you're wrong. No, but I say that um, I don't think that you are. I feel like that's not my place as like another human to say someone is wrong or to draw lines or boundaries. No, I mean, I wouldn't just go like, oh, you're wrong, you're like, that's wrong to believe in it, because, I mean, again, it doesn't really bother me what you want to think about your height or anything. So, I can be a Chinese woman. You... <laughs> um, sure. But I can't be a six foot five Chinese woman. Yes. If you thoroughly debated me or explained why you felt that you were six foot five, uh, I feel like I would be very open to saying that you are six foot five, or Chinese, or a woman. It shouldn't be hard to tell a five nine white guy that he's not a six foot five Chinese woman, but clearly it is. Why? What does that say about our culture? And what does that say about our ability to answer the questions that actually are difficult?